Hi, so you're coming along with me to find out more about Pier 7 Smartboard Challenge? That's great! You know what? Let's go now! Hi Melinda! Oh, hey Ning! I was about to find you too! Great! Ready to answer some questions about Smartboard Challenge? Yes, I am. What is Smartport Challenge? It's an annual competition for startups to provide solutions to the maritime industry. What is an innovation opportunity? It's a challenge but also an opportunity for startups to address. And how many are there this year? We have 28 from 18 corporates. And what are the focus areas? Broadly, we have three. Maritime services and logistics, shipping and port operations. Great, you know what? We should go look for the others. Yes, let's go, come on! Hi jin -san. It's ONE and SAS's second year in Smartport Challenge. What are you looking for in Smartport Challenge? Well, we're looking for uh, startups with an innovative idea to make our companies more competitive. And for that, we need more startups to work with. How do you think ONE SES can work with the startup this year? Oh, we are already working with all the different startups. So if, let's say, for example, startups, they need any test data, we can provide them. So if startups, you want to join us, catch you at Smartport Challenge 2019. See you! Hello. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Come on in. Uh, this one's for you. Oh, okay. Why is it important for Wazilla to be part of Smartport Challenge? Well, the, the industry is going through an exciting transformation at the moment. So, take us for example in Wazilla, we're working on intelligent, smart uh, autonomous ships, connected smart ports. We're working on cyber security. We're working on all these exciting projects and working with startups means that we can look at uh, technology from all around and also from the adjacent industry as well. So really important stuff. Hey, we Ling Renzi, how to apply to Smartport Challenge? Uh, you can visit www.peersenin1.sg and click on Smartport Challenge. You can then click here to download the template and apply. When is the application period? It starts from now until 9 August. Hey Leon, can a group of people with fantastic ideas also apply to Smartport Challenge? Absolutely. Uh, this is definitely the program you want to be in if you are a group of uh, individuals with a fantastic idea and you need validation, uh, the program will provide that for you. Can foreign startups apply too? Absolutely. Uh, as far as for us, uh, Threatspan, we were actually founded in Rotterdam, but uh, we've since relocated out here to Singapore um, uh, to be part of the, uh, the maritime uh, startup ecosystem out here uh, in response to the uh, Smart Point Challenge. Hey, well, thank you. Come on in. Hi, Sylvie. Tell me about your experience participating in Pier 7 Accelerate. Well, it was really cool to be chosen as one of the eight, uh, one of the finalists in this eight weeks program. Um, we met a lot of like-minded entrepreneurs who were also trying to solve problems in the maritime industry. We also applied tools such as the business model canvas and the value proposition model to help us give to give us clarity on the solution and the problem. And how did the validation process help in any way? The validation process actually helped us to reaffirm that it was a problem worth solving as it was an industry-wide problem. Hey, is that John? Hey, John. Hey guys, how are you? Just curious, what are the best things that have happened since winning at PhD? The best thing since winning is that our product is real, it's in the market, and our clients also want to become investors. Do you know the prizes up for grab this year? I'm not sure, but let me check with my colleague Daniela. Hey Daniela, do you know what the prizes are for winning Smartport Challenge this year? Yes, three cash prizes falling to 18,000 Singapore dollars and up to 15,000 uh, in grants. Great, thank you. Can you give us one reason why tech entrepreneurs should apply to the Smartport Challenge now? Okay, um, PS21 Smartport Challenge is the best platform for maritime tech entrepreneurs to get into the industry. So the first thing is that it helps us to understand the problems that the maritime industry is going through. The next is it helps us to um, craft our solutions um, by getting some validation points as well as insights um, to what um, the customers would likely think about our product. And lastly, it helps us to understand the uh, maritime ecosystem and get into the maritime ecosystem by getting a lot of media and exhibition engagements where we met many investors, um, decision makers and potential customers. All right, bye! Bye! Visit our website at www.prs91.sg for more information. Don't miss a boat!